This video is brought to you by the number one CSGO marketplace, IGVault.com, where you can buy and sell CSGO skins for up to 40% off Steam market prices. Do you have the aim of a potato and want to improve? Be main and mid, so. We should just... Oh shit. Oh my- My name is Brayden and welcome to Valve Guide. CSGO requires more precision of aim than most other games in the entire world. So of course, improving your aim is one of the best things you can do to improve at the game. Of course, your aim alone will not make you the best player in the world, however, it will have a large role in your own personal overall skill. These are our top 10 ways to improve your aim. Starting off with number 10, download practice maps and set a routine. This is in our number 10 spot mainly because it's probably the most obvious thing to adopt on this list. Downloading practice maps and practicing is one of the best things you can do for your aim. You will not improve if you don't practice a bit, and I'm not saying you need to do this like two hours a day, just hop on a practice map and train your aim for like 30 minutes before a competitive game. Up to 30 minutes, like it doesn't even have to be 30 minutes every time, just set simple goals and routines, how many headshots you want with each gun while you practice, etc. At least devote a little bit of time into doing this each time you launch up CS. Coming in at number 9, fine tuning your mouse settings. Again, this is higher up on the list because it is semi-obvious. However, the purpose of including this is to help those who may not have gone through their settings yet. Adjusting your Windows and CS mouse settings is a very important factor of precision, making sure you turn mouse acceleration off and just adjusting the sensitivity to exactly what you like is kind of crucial. It is simple and easy to mess with, but never underestimate the power of feeling more comfortable with your mouse sensitivity. It may not be the most important thing to do, there have been pro players that can just use whatever they're given as far as mouse sensitivity, but for others, sensitivity may determine how well you can play throughout a whole match. At number 8, practice in a community deathmatch server rather than vanilla Valve ones. A lot of new players just practice in casual deathmatch because it's all they know how to do. However, if you hop in the server browser and just type in HS or FFA, you can join a community server that is free for all and even headshot only. Playing headshot only matches is a fantastic way to warm up and tune your aim, and adding free for all to the mix just makes the whole experience a lot more fast paced. If you've never played on a headshot deathmatch server, brace yourself, it can be very rage inducing at first. You will die a lot, you will get spawn killed, and there will be impossible situations. You just have to get past that and focus on doing what you can to better your skill. Accept that fact, and you will die a lot, but it will definitely help you in the end. At number 7, make sure your crosshair isn't the size of the average Pawnee citizen. Then there is a horrifying 512 ounce version that they call child size. Your crosshair. If you're newer to the game, I hope by now you figured out that you can change it in the in-game settings. However, some of you may not know that you can customize your crosshair to the exact style, size, and color that you want. You can either download maps to customize your own more easily, or you can just straight up try different pro players preferred crosshairs, or you can go as far as to learn the console commands to get the exact crosshair you want. It's simple to do and easy. Just download a map and we'll even link one for you in the description for added convenience. Coming in at number six, play with a mentor. We have said this time and time again, this helps you for more than just aim as well. Playing with somebody who's more skilled than you, who is willing to teach you as you play is invaluable. The same can be said for any skill in life and it's no different for CSGO. Find somebody who is better than you and become a student of them. Ask them questions, watch them play, learn everything you can so that when a newer player comes along or maybe a friend of yours starts playing, you can do the same for them. Don't be toxic, just learn and teach each other as best you can. It's a great habit in general. Moving to number five, cross hair placement. Crosshair placement is something you will hear being thrown around a lot, and I'm sure we're going to get comments saying this is a noob tip or something along those lines. However, crosshair placement is something that you may hear or read about every now and then, but the amount of people that actually practice their crosshair placement after reading about it is minuscule compared to how much it's mentioned. I implore you, practice keeping your crosshair in relevant areas of the screen, don't look too low or too high, pre-aim common areas, and always be aware of where an enemy might be and keep your crosshair closer to that point. That distance you have to move your mouse across the pad can and will make a difference in whether you live or die in a firefight. Along the same lines as crosshair placement, at number 4, practice your arm and wrist movement. Many people totally forget that there is a physical aspect of precision in CS. Become aware of your calibration and how far you need to move your arm and mouse in order to move your crosshair to where it needs to go. You want to get to the point where you don't even have to think about it anymore. Truly skilled pro players have this down to the needle. And just sit there doing a little dry drills where you shoot a bullet right there and try to snap back to the bullet with your wrist with your wrist so this is all wrist aim wrist aim now switch to arm aim 
When they see an enemy on their screen, they know where their mouse needs to be on the pad, and to the point where hacking accusations can be thrown around without being able to be 100% confirmed. There are two types of mouse movement when it comes to aiming, tracking and snapping. Never confuse the two, snapping is used against stationary targets, while tracking is obviously more useful against moving targets. Just practice them, and learn the calibration of how far you need to move your hand. It will really help you out if you pay attention to it at first. In at number three, utilize crouching. If you came to play CSGO, from another less competitive FPS or even from like console, you're probably used to crouching a lot or even going prone, especially for those of you who came here from playing Call of Duty and are used to drop shotting. In CSGO, it's generally a better rule of thumb to crouch less than you might think. When you crouch in CSGO, it makes your head a much easier target to hit. However, when you crouch after starting a spray, it makes it much easier to control a weapon spray. So learning how to utilize crouching and when to crouch is a very important factor in firefights. Number two, Warm up and stretch the muscles you'll be using before a play sesh. Now this is something that a lot of people neglect to do or have even failed to consider, which is understandable considering the stereotypes around gaming, but stretching and warming up muscles that you will use while playing the game is one of the most helpful things you can do. I, for example, have wrist pain, so sometimes it can actually hurt to type or play games, especially when tensions are high and I'm not really thinking about how much I'm clamping my hand down or messing with my wrist. Research some wrist and arm stretches and even finger exercises to warm up and loosen those muscles before you play competitively. It sounds silly and far-fetched at first, but before you throw the idea out the window, at least try it. It'll help prevent arthritis too. So, I mean, if that's not enough to make you want to try it, I don't know what will. It's helped me a lot. Concluding this list with number one, get your head right. Playing and practicing with intent and having the right mindset, being confident in your abilities, these are all very important factors to perform well in anything that requires a skill. So when you act out these tips in CSGO and you practice your aim, you put the time and effort into it. Never forget why you're doing it. If it isn't worth the effort to you, then don't do it. You're not being forced to play the game. If increasing your skill is something you truly want to do, then go that extra mile. Make sure that your mind is in the right place and you're doing it for the right reasons. And of course, this isn't restricted to CSGO. That goes for anything. Find the passion, pursue it, and put in the effort and put in the time. If you want to be a pro player, do what you need to do to achieve that. Doesn't matter how stupid it seems to people. If you have the passion, gain the ability. And once you gain the ability, use the passion. After all of this, just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. At IG Volt, you can buy CSGO skins for great prices and sell them if you so wish. You can browse about any weapon skin or buy your dream skin for up to 40% off, which is pretty sweet. If you want to be a part of this, follow the link in the description below and head on over to IGVolt.com. Well guys, that just about does it for this video. We got a little serious there at the end, and it's important to realize that when we talk about perseverance or passion for improving, we're not only talking about a video game. Find your passion, it's one of the best feelings in the world, and achieving them might not be enjoyable 100% of the time, but don't let the outcome ever replace the reason why you started. Anyway, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly had a lot of fun writing it. And if you did love it, hit that like button. If you stayed till this part of the video, leave a comment explaining what your passion for CSGO or gaming is in general. I would love to go through and read each and every one of those. That would be utterly amazing. So if you want to stay updated every time we upload a video, subscribe. All right, guys, stay amazing, and I will see you in the next one.